Hi everyone, welcome back to your path tutorials. So welcome back to your path tutorials. So this video is all about how to do the shorting of the Excel. Some people how to, how they will do if you are going to chart this chart or you are going to select this. Just click this here, custom shot. And from the age, I'm just using smaller to larger than OK. So then, see, I just shot it. So I just want this uh, uh, to do this with the help of code. So I have this data and this Excel. And just use the invoke code activity from the activities. Just by typing the invoke code. Drag up here. Let's go to the edit arguments. I've created str path in the indirection string and just give the Excel path here. Now if you just go to the edit code, just put all, all the code in this invoke code. So just uh, I just want a quick look quick look uh, to this code. So just define these. So this we're going to just read the Excel this thing and we're going to read the sheet one. We're going to activate the sheet also and from the uh, here to here this code is going to find the row number that can first row number that contains the header and so I'm just uh, make it plus one to get the second row because my data starts from here so I just make it dynamic and I just want to uh, just do the whole hard coding like A2 to A5 I know this is this, this the range A2 to A2 to B5 this is the range where I just want to short this data I just want to, to, to do this uh, dynamically so let's just find the header where is it and just uh, do plus one so I just get the A2 from here with the help of that code now I just use the last row also because I just don't want to make it a static like B5 because the data can be increased in the future also so what I've done just find out the last row that contains the data so this is the fifth row so this will give me give a fifth row. Now coming back here below, this is a short Excel code. So uh, this is the second row that I find and the last row. So A2 to B5, it will just going to uh, short the data from A2 to B5. This is the short. This is the code, and this is the column on which I just want a shorting. I just want to call uh, shorting on the column age this one now just uh, you can just do the hard code also like you can do just remove this thing and just write a2 and remove this thing like um, b5 so if you know the b5 range you can just write down or if you want to just find out dynamically you can use like code from here to here now just coming back once you just write the code, you will going to find the intro of errors. So just import here. Import the nice code. Short. Dot office. So this is double click on this. So yeah, this is added now. Just save it. So sometimes uh, you will going to find that yeah, that there is still uh, errors also. Just you are going to face the error again. So what you have to do is. Uh, open the file. This is my file. Just open this file in the notepad. You can just directly drag, drag, drop here. Okay, just uh, let me check this. So let me edit in the reference or not. So just add it here. But let me check in the assembly references. Whether it's added or not. So I'm coming below. Mm, yes, it's added. If it's not added, please add this line to your assembly reference. You can uh, just add it anywhere as a last also. And just save it. And then close this. And then refresh this. And again, just open this. So uh, it will going to just uh, uh, solve your problem. Now, uh, the intro error, you will not going to find it again as the assembly is added. Now I'm just going to run this code for you. Let me just close this Excel. 
Oops. Let me check. What else? What's, uh, what's the data here? Page ninety fifty six. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Now they just I need to show this data by the port. Let me run this. Mm. Okay, it's running and. Let me open this. Yes, you can see that my files are it's, it's sort of assembling order. So this is a perfect uh, example and a perfect way to just uh, short the Excel with a specified column. So uh, maybe in, in, in maybe in projects you were going to find this problem. So yes, enjoy the code and just enjoy the video and. Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel. I hope you are liking my video and comment below if you could face any problem. I will always be there to help you. Thanks, thanks a lot.